Good morning, guys, from me and my Snoopy pajama. You can't see the Snoopy, but okay, on my first coffee currently. About to do my makeup completely differently because I'm gonna do it with items that I actually have in here in Brighton. And um, oh, I like this actually, already looking good. It's kind of like the stuff that I didn't wanna open up my beauty bag. So I'm gonna start in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade that looks like my foundation shade at the moment, to be honest, not like a concealer shade. It is Marong Glaze. Never heard of this shade. I mean, it's not like one of my shades for concealer that's why i think it's probably like actually perfect as well okay my mom is here if you you guys probably know that and today we are actually going to bister village like if you don't live in england you're probably not so familiar with bister village and i'll give you a little bit of context i am not a huge fan of outlets simply because you don't always find anything in the outlets yes the prices are usually better but personally i rarely ever find good pieces it's all, almost always kind of pieces that nobody wants so they put them there at least the outlets that i have tried but vista village is the best there are a few actually i think i don't know like there are a few that i tried that i think are a little bit better like the one that i went to around florence i remember saint laurent had so many good pieces actually and i really liked it but then sometimes i go and there's literally like nothing so this outlet is literally the best and the cutest and we're going there today i'm not affiliated with, it, with them by the way in any way shape or form like this is not an ad this is like an organic meeting taking you there and I'm going there because I want to say to my sister and to my mom that anything they pick is going to be on me. It's going to be like a part of the drill. It's not that close to Brighton. It's like two and a half hours of driving. So I don't actually know how we're going to do that, to be honest, with Vlogmas. Because, you know, what's this vlog going to be like if five hours of today we're actually going to spend in the car? Now I'm going to use this Benefit Boeing Cakeless Concealer because I think this is much lighter shade just to add some bright accent on my face. The brush that I'm using is from Joer. Joer? Joer? It's an American brand, I think. Just a bit here to add some light. You know, I love using concealer as a foundation because then you really don't have much makeup on your face and that's the best. Now I'm gonna use Chanel Hydrating Beauty Essence Mist to add like a bit of dewiness. I love this product actually, it reminds me of Pandemic so much because when I started talking to Filippo, he was like using this kind of like essence for the face, okay? While we were video calling. And it's so funny because I remember so clearly that I also wanted to show him that I'm using face essence. Then I got so carried away. So once he hung up and then he recalled me again and I was like, my face was completely like liquid. Then I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gas on Face Palette. I actually really like this, it looks like this i need like a nice little clean all oh, my brushes are clean love that or some bronze kind of contour but not too much you know like a very bright and light contours my sister said i have to hurry up because otherwise if i take too long to get ready the whole day will be gone last time when i went to bister was actually i think was it during vlogmas no it was in january and i went to bister with my friend henry who i love very 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 much and i bought some little baby burberry coats for my nephews i'll try and insert the picture so you guys can see how it was because that was like the cutest thing ever and a bit of blush love this blush kind of like a peachy bronzy with some glow and it really i think it suits me quite well this color i think i'll bring this with me in milan unless i have one already i need to check that it's quite glowy and you guys know i like a good glow when i was in, in vienna with Miu Miu, someone asked me to share with them my glow secrets and i was so flattered i was like really do you think i'm glowy the only problematic thing is i haven't got anything for eyebrows when i say anything i mean like a setting gel i don't have setting gel like something very simple i think i never used to use them back in the days so that's a bit annoying because i really want to use something for my brows okay whatever i'm gonna use this dior eye palette it's so funny i feel like now bringing all of this by the way to milan look how beautiful is this can you see it it's such a like a perfect palette for this time of the year and i'm just gonna apply like a warm brown all over the lid the dog's gonna be so sad when we go but he's not gonna stay home alone of course not it's just gonna be my sister my mom and me going so still i love cuddling him all day long but, like waking up next to a dog obviously i let him in my bed because i'm that kind of person and guys just waking up next to a dog is the best thing in the world 
I'm sorry. It is what it is. This is the oil lip oil. I'm just gonna put a touch of the oil lip oil to have a little hydration moment, hydration station. I should put something else on the eyes. Ooh, look at this Charlotte Tilbury palette. Stars in your eyes. We're gonna put love eyes in the inner corners to add a little bit something. You know, like it's Christmas season. Let's add a bit. And also, what am I gonna wear today? I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I have such a good idea for an outfit that I wanna wear. But, oh, this is a really nice lip product. Can you see it? Probably not. It's Armani 102. Let's try it. Is it gonna be too dark? No, actually, it's literally exactly the same color as my lips. Isn't that weird? I just put a little bit. That's it. Let's go get dressed and let's go. Okay, guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're on our way to Mr. Village. How long left? An hour and 20 minutes. One hour, 20 minutes left. That's quite long but it's quite nice to be honest because it's like my mom my sister and me and we used to have this tradition where we used to go on like a trip together once a year so it started when i was six with our first trip to rome i still think rome is better than just a trip within the united kingdom my sister said you probably didn't hear but she says that she thinks rome is better than a trip within the united kingdom it's okay i think we should do once a year a trip somewhere in italy I I could easily plan that. But today we're going to Mr. Village and I've already announced it to you guys that today I'm feeling the Christmas spirit. So everything is on me. We should buy some Christmas decorations. We should buy some Christmas decoration. We should buy something for the kids. We should buy something for us, something for home. Everything and anything we want. An hour and 20 is kind of longish. Are you guys, do you think we should go for lunch when we arrive first or we should shop a little bit and then? No. Okay, shop first. I wouldn't mind the coffee, but I don't want a coffee when we get there because I think we won't be able to enter the shops. Is there gonna be, once we pass London, like the, once we pass the M25, I think on top of the M25 there is like a big star, but you know that big, big, what is a it? Pit stop. Pit stop, that one close to... You mean this one? The one that you can just see here, Cobham Services. Cobham Services, I don't know. I remember that one that I'm talking about was close to Anfield, like close... I can tell. I want to see if I mean that one. Yes, I want you to stop to see if I mean that one. It's a convenient timing. Is there Starbucks? There's Starbucks, there's Costa, there's everything you might imagine. Because the one that I mean is like all of glass. That's the one. They all look the same. It's okay, as long as there's Starbucks, I'm really like craving a little Starby. Calda mama, cafe is a good idea. Yes, definitely. I'm wearing, in case you're wondering, my very brand new cashmere black. I, I don't have like a black thicker cashmere turtleneck so this one is from cause i really like it my new mew mew denim padded jacket because you know what i was gonna wear my saint laurent coat however i feel like it's a little bit heavy so like if you're going in shop out of shop in the shop out of the shop you're like cold and hot and cold and hot i wanted something a bit lighter yes that's it this is the one of course that's you're it. so smart of course you know me too well I think we've been friends for too long. How did you know that this is the one, the Cobham or whatever it's called? <laughs> if you're friend me, then I'm not gonna have any other friends. No other sisters. Well, that's not really true, but almost true. So I was gonna say, I was today going to wear one of my Hermes bags that I got back, right? Because I feel like I wanted to test drive for one day while I'm still here, one of them to try and see how it makes me feel. But I didn't. Feel just... free to jump out, bye bye. Oh, one second, one second. Instead, I'm wearing this Bottega bag. It's here in England and it's so nice to wear my own, like to shop. I shop my own wardrobe when I'm in England. That's the best, you know? You don't know. Okay. What do we want today? Mmm. I can see some pastries. Banana caramel muffin. That sounds pretty good. Ooh, there's red velvet loaf cake. That's, that'd be my favorite. That's kind of tricky to eat. Satish mama. Almond croissant, that sounds very good as well. Caramel waffle muffin. Mm. My mom said we should get this cup. So cute. Could I please have two flat whites, normal milk, grande, and then one oat milk latte, also grande size. Okay, guys, we made it. It's very busy, obviously. What was I thinking? It's just before Christmas. And this is kind of what it looks like. I was just texting my best friend back home in Serbia to say that I'd really like to take my friends here. So we're outside of Jimmy Choo. They have so many cute, festive bits. Like, I love 
love this kitten heel for example obviously like the clutches the sparkly back look i can see like a blue bing all the way there i don't know if you guys can see it super cute stuff and oh, i just saw something i really like this guys is my favorite asia tribute icons wow love them like i told you we're just like coming here to shop like i want to yeah like some cute bits and bobs a lot of the places though have queues i gotta be honest and if you if it's like winter and it's cold it's not maybe the like most pleasant day there's a Givenchy shop Brunella Cucinelli so far we saw quite a few there's Fendi there also like obviously there's like a little champagne bar oh there's I love that brand and Peel it's like a cashmere brand there is a bit of a queue outside of Fendi but they have if you guys remember this collection it's like pretty recent stuff you know the pastel colored my problem is that I literally don't need anything I have so much stuff so I don't really even when I enter the shops I don't really like find anything I want but my mom just entered Michael Kors so I will come in with her we're gonna head like and see some shops like also I think there's a lot of stuff that like gifts that we can get other people there's like Ralph Lauren we're gonna go into next we're gonna have a nice lunch what is it Saturday that you'd like to see do you have something something for home I would love some nice Christmas decoration Christmas decoration so boring you are so <laughs> funny am I funny <laughs> I know they have lots of stuff. I know they have Prada. Yeah. They have Dior. That's wow. where I'd like to bring my mom as well. But let's go Fendi. and find her. Fendi. Yes, she's gonna really want to go in Fendi. There's a lot of good stuff. I have to say. I'll show you my outfit of the day, you guys. I'm actually really embarrassed because I've been wearing these jeans now every single day of Vlogmas. But these are the best jeans I own at the moment. They're the K jeans. I love them. I wear them non-stop. I'll link them below for you guys to check them out. I have my new cashmere knit from Cos. So soft and cute. I have this Miu Miu jacket that I got in Vienna that I really like. My new Bottega. Not new. It's like since 2021 so that's how new it is it's my old Bottega Jody I love it because it fits so much stuff I'm applying currently my Charlotte Tilbury this is like a mini I realize I look kind of pale do I look pale right I wonder why I don't know anyway so that's the look of the day this is in shade pillow talk love it and of course of course let's not forget my Taz Ugg boots and I have like new pair of Uggs that I are coming on the way not just for me but like for everybody so that's coming home today so many cute things at Ralph Lauren this is polo and like look at these corduroy trousers for kids getting some stuff for my nephews love lots of different bits so many cute things i mean i'm sorry i know many of you are mothers or aunts like me or anything alike but there's so many cute things i don't feel like waiting in line for many shops but there's one that i feel like it's totally worth it let's go one of my favorite tops should i buy a new one because i've worn it a lot to be honest 76 pounds oh it's extra large so good from celeron lots of good stuff i have a jacket like this actually they run very small oh, 34 of course <gasps> wow look at this dress who remembers these 50 percent off basically i did want for this when it came out for my size but i like it there's a huge dealer i don't know if there's a queue but it looks really beautiful with some home stuff as well which i oh yeah of course there's a queue i wonder if you can still make an appointment for later like it used to be the case but let me show you the window because it's really cute which actually reminds me that i need to get back to dior there's an email that i received anyway i really like this i think window's so beautiful the queue is huge but we'll come back later and hope because i wouldn't mind a hot drink and a little snack like i'm also really cold my sister just told me that my eyes look quite red I hope i'm not getting sick because i also think i look kind of pale and like my eyes are like not tearing but they feel like you know like before you get sick like your eyes get a little bit watery i, I don't think i don't have any symptoms Ooh, there's Laura Piana. We will be going, but I want to go to Laura Piana right after. 
I love this zippy cashmere for the mountains. Planning my mountain getaway. I found lots of really nice cashmere and really nice pieces here at Laura Piana. I have to say so far, this has been my favorite. I love this as well, but maybe I'm just in this festive mood. Every single detail is so well thought of. Beautiful. Guys, look how beautiful is this place when it starts getting dark. I think it's so stunning. I mean, it is getting kind of busy as well, but with the little lights, it looks so Christmassy. One thing I wanted to say is that, so we were in Laura Piana, I literally could have bought half a shop because it's so good. Ended up getting a few bits for the mountains. There's one more thing that I maybe will come back for. There's like this cashmere set that I think also would be really nice for the mountains. So beautiful. And you guys know how much I'm obsessed with the cashmere set. Though I did get a few ones from the row on this huge sale recently. My mom and my sister now they want to go to Gucci so we're gonna head into Gucci now. My go to the O, want to have a look also. I really want to eat something. All I had today was like literally, well I had two eggs at home and then I had chocolate croissant from Starbucks but that's not enough. Anyway, I'll update you in a sec. Talking about the festive spirit, how festive is this? I mean you guys know I love Gucci. I shop at Gucci all the time anyway. So maybe a little bit too colorful for me at the moment but I love this sage color. This I love. Lots of green really cute things including this coat i think is this coat is pretty like major i remember this i really wanted this when it came out because i really like this kind of herringbone it was 1800 now it's 900 i think that's a really good price for a gucci laser at 50 percent off let's see what else we can find here Okay, we're at Max Mara and currently you can also find some teddy coats here. Shameless plug in, I wrote a blog post talking about teddies. Mm, so much teddy-esque stuff. I have to say one thing to you guys. Max Mara is my mom's favorite brand. It always has been, so I'm very happy. Hoping she'll find some stuff here. I think we should have a little look over here. Oh my god. Da, 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 da. I love this, but not in purple. I would, love, I would buy it immediately if they had it in brown because I have such an idea of what I want to wear. This is a bit low. It looks like diving glasses. This is very cozy. I mean, I really like hoops, so it's no surprise that I like this triangle. But I have so many hoops, let's not even forget that. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we had to sit down. We have lots of bags that we carry. I was thinking, you know what, Mr. Village is so big, you actually need to arrive here at like 9 a.m. and spend the whole day here. We mainly shop at Ralph Lauren, at Laura Piana and at Burberry. My mom got a beautiful coat at Burberry. It was like beige, kind of like we hope, what we hoped to find in Max Mara. We couldn't really find anything. The sizes were so small, like everything was 34, like Italian 34 at Max Mara. I'm like, I'm so sorry, 34 is basically like 30 <laughs> French. You know what I mean? So that's that. But now we're starving. We only had like those few croissants since like 5 p.m. We arrived at a place called La Tua Pasta, not because we especially wanted to eat here, but because we were so hungry and this is the first thing that we saw like was comfort food where we wanted to eat so from the menu i am thinking oh tomato mozzarella mini croquettes i'm thinking there's also lasagna mm, oven baked beef lasagna it's like that's a winter like a proper winter dish truffle parmesan and fries sounds very good gluten-free gnocchi option available too so they have gnocchi let's find gnocchi you guys know i love oh, black truffle ricotta tortelloni british crab and lobster ravioloni, okay. Tonarelli, mushroom risotto, pumpkin sage, cotolette di pollo. I'm thinking to have the lasagna. Philip's parents are coming tomorrow to our home and his mom usually makes like lots of lasagna for us to kind of eat, then like to freeze and eat. So I don't know if I want to eat lasagna, but I really like lasagna. Otherwise, my other option is black truffle and ricotta tortelloni or British crab and lobster, yummy. Quite a few nice little, very, very cozy, comfy options. So we got some starters, truffle fries, which I love, focaccia, some croquettes, and a little lasagna. Just a little bit for the starter for us to share, you know?
Okay, guys, a dinner. Is it dinner? I mean, it is 5.49, so it took us like a little bit less than an hour. 49 minutes we were here exactly, which I think it's a lot because there's still a few shops that we want to go to, like, for example, maybe Prada or Loewe or... I don't know, like, I saw there's some also, like, candle shops. Filippo would say we definitely do not need a single candle because we have so many. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go continue shopping a bit. I ate... Uh, we all had, like, some sort of, like, pasta. E dish. And now, shall I show you? Look at this now. I definitely, like, the one thing that I'm excited for is the Ralph's coffee. It's literally the best coffee in the world. There's this huge Ralph Lauren as well, because the other one was Polo, actually. In case you wanted to see, so beautiful. This is literally the best coffee in the world. This is, like, my mom's favorite shop. Also, remember how I told you that we went to Vienna for Christmas holidays once? My mom uh, basically brought home so many of these uh, plates and things. Basically, my mom, she collects plates and cups and things like that. Like, I don't know what to tell you. And every time I moved home, she always asked me if I went to check in this store, if they have everything that I need. These are the kind of stuff that she wants us to have a look at. I don't know what that is. It's a lot of plates of some sort. I really like a lot these cups. I don't know if you can see, they have like double lid inside. So if it's very hot, you can grab it like this and you won't feel it. I really like these. Quite nice, no? But honestly, I'm not going to bring like a cup back to Italy that would be really really ridiculous they even have them in like the espresso size but I just yeah that doesn't make sense what I really like is how cute all these little houses <laughs> shops are like obviously like there's Belmaran there's Loewe shall we pop by Loewe to see what's up I love these sandals as you guys know I have them 450 they were 895 that's pretty good Guys, I think we're all shopped out. Oh my god, we're carrying, well, so many bags. I'm just very happy because my mom got lots of really nice things. My face is frozen, it's minus two. We'll put on screen what that is in Fahrenheit. This is pretty magical, this little walk to the car park when you leave at night. Also, potentially, I didn't really put the best coat on, but that's because I, A, I didn't think it was gonna be this cold. B, I thought that like going in and out of the shops, you're gonna be kind of hot and plastered, you know what I mean? But that's not the case. The case is such that basically, I mean, look, can you see it? It's 6.39 now, so the day is kind of gone. We shopped at, I'm just looking at the bags, we shopped at Burberry, Max Mara, Polo, Ralph Lauren, and Loro Piana. There was something else that I could have gotten at Loro Piana, but I think, you know, I also, I don't know, like I feel that I didn't really need another cashmere set of like a bottoms and like a turtleneck because I have so many. And it is true that I really like those for at home, but I'm also embarrassed to wear like those kind of cashmere sets all the freaking time so that's that we're going home now i know that at home i also ordered uggs for the whole household besides for filippo for filippo i've ordered some birkenstocks because he actually wanted to get some when we were in vienna and we entered the shop he had a look at them and he was like mm, i don't know i'll come back get them he never got them so i've ordered a pair for him that i'll bring him home i'm gonna be in england for another day so tomorrow i'm gonna be in england as well and then i have to do a lot of stuff and yes i could have gone back tomorrow afternoon but I'm switching things up as we speak. So I booked an early morning flight, like 7 a.m. And I'm only gonna be in Milan for like a day and a half because I have to go to the dentist. Uh, I'll explain to you the whole thing. And then I'm gonna come back to London for this Dior event. And then ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go back to Italy and kind of stay there. That's it. No more, um, I'm gonna be going to Paris for a day. So I'm just like trying to fill in a little bit in my schedule, in all the good stuff. But I really had a good day today, especially because it was just like my sister, my mom and me, which is how, I don't know, it's like us three, we have such a special relationship. And from time to time, we love having days all to ourselves, which is hard now that my sister and I are grown women so weird to say that but i guess it's the case because i'll always feel like i'm a mom's child and also it's kind of like either my partner or my sister's partner you know what i mean like there's always someone around but it's really nice when it's like three of us women together because all three of us are like three true ultimate girls girls so yeah, that's really nice. Now we're gonna get in the car. I bought cinnamon bun, which is something that I love so much. And I'm gonna eat a cinnamon bun and hopefully get into like sugar nap. 
then. Guys, home sweet home. It is now 9.56. The truth is we haven't just arrived. We arrived home like maybe an hour ago, but you know, I literally have to tell you, it's very hard being a dog's favorite because now we were playing for an hour and he didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave me. He didn't want to leave my side. Look. Yeah, it's the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, so we shopped a little bit. I kind of want to show you what I bought, but at the same time, I know that I have nowhere space to show you, especially now that we unbox some other stuff that have arrived in the meanwhile. So you're going to have to give us some time. I'll try and figure out a way. The plan is for my mom and me to try and tidy up tomorrow my floor because it's full of boxes, full of clothes, shoes, bags. Things are everywhere. We want to try and make it a little bit more sustainable in terms of living because literally right now it's just like boxes and stuff so we're gonna try and do that but first things first i think i need to rest from like a day of walking so maybe we'll do that tomorrow maybe we'll also go should we go for breakfast somewhere tomorrow do you guys want to go somewhere or not yeah so yeah we're gonna figure it out but overall we're gonna try and have a nice day guys i want to show you something this is like a patchwork blanket that i got probably like nine years ago this used to be my old blog logo if i can find some sometimes tomorrow even like one business card with it i will show it to you but it was like basically my first ever logo that you can see it says gng &G glam and glitter for the blog what i want to tell you about it is that someone who followed my blog reached out to me and she kindly offered to make this for me like kind of i don't like a word fan but kind of like a follower let's say and she made this with her professor at university all out of patchwork and I still have it as you guys can see on my bed it means so much to me and I really 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 love it and Alfie clearly loves it too excuse me anyway guys what I wanted to tell you is that for the past hour we were downstairs watching like tv just chilling and talking and Alfie was non-stop asking me that we need to go to bed like he was literally talking to me and telling me like let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go until finally he fell asleep in my arms and then I told him it's okay we're going to bed and he literally couldn't wait he's already like half asleep well i don't know he's like scratching himself there and he's getting ready to sleep it's like the cutest thing in the world but yeah that's it i'm gonna go wash my face shower get straight to bed and i'm sorry if today's video was a little bit short but it was just literally oh well you've seen what we've done we spent five hours in the car today so sorry if that wasn't very fun but hopefully tomorrow will be a bit better and then the day after we're going to milan thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys